So I wanted to go ahead and demonstrate a menu that I made using the character customizer system and also kind of express that the character customizer is a system for handling the customizations to your player character and also to your NPCs in your game. The demo video that I released previously just showed the default template. It didn't actually show any pretty menu with anything set up. So I just wanted to go in here and create a menu. This is kind of a steampunk style menu. It's not completely finished, but it is a lot prettier than the previous demo video did show. It just had the default sliders. It didn't have any custom textures like you see here. I went and I created some custom textures and set up a menu for my own personal game. And I just wanted to demo some of the things that can be done with the character customizer system. Now, first off, the character customizer system can be used to not only customize the player character, but it can also customize NPC characters. Not only can it customize these characters, but it can also be used to apply the customizations to the character. So it'll automatically apply your morphs, it'll automatically apply mesh changes, mesh swaps, all these things that you can do. The character customizer system can save all of these values. It can save miscellaneous float values, it can save miscellaneous integer variables. I mean, saving variables is inherent to the system, and then it's just a simple matter of setting up the more factor all graphs to morph the player to fit the design that you have for your menu. So just taking a look here, I just wanted to demo some of the things that I did when I created my custom menu. I set up the player race menu to be able to switch between the male and the female character, and I could just click this. And all this does is it calls a function in the character customizer that swaps the character blueprint. So it'll swap the player pawn. It'll also use a separate character blue. These are entirely separate character blueprints. So you can see I have my male character. I have my female character. And I also went ahead and I set up a button using the character customizer system that will allow me to save a miscellaneous integer. And the integer simply tells me which scale the player is going to be. Is it uh, smaller or is it really small or is he full size? And I can do that with both of my characters here. So I've created these buttons, you know, the my own custom menu, and I set up the buttons to allow me to save a miscellaneous integer, and that integer applies the scale of the character. Now, this is for miscellaneous integer, or a representation of how the miscellaneous integer can be used within the character customizer system. Another one is the miscellaneous float. Now, here I have a double blend, or I think this is actually a triple blend, and what I have here is three different textures that are being blended together to create this skin tone. I have a light skin tone, I have a medium skin tone, and I have a dark skin tone. Well, this slider that I set up will allow me to change the skin tone of the player, but it'll also allow me to save a miscellaneous float variable. So as I'm sliding this, when I release, it saves that miscellaneous float to the character customizer system. So I change the skin tone and it saves it for me. Now here's another really cool thing about the character customizer system. While your player is customizing their character, let's say they choose one race, they choose a human character and they're like, hmm, you know what, I want to check out what the elf race looks like, but I did do a lot of customization to this race. So this character they created, they did all these customizations to it, they made it this height, they made it this skin tone, and they say, you know what, I want to see what the game's elf race looks like. So they'd switch over to their elf race. I'm just going to use this female as an example. So then they want to go ahead and customize this character. So I'll go ahead and set it small. I'll change the skin tone all the way down. I'll maybe change the character's body weight, <laughs> which doesn't do much right now. It's just a breast slider for me, but change the character's body weight and maybe make some customizations to the character's face. So I'll maybe go to the eyes, and here I've set up some buttons for the eyes to change the eye color. So I'll just pick a different eye color, and you think, okay, as I'm doing these changes, you know, and I make some changes to the character, I decide, you know what, I don't really like these changes that I've made. I kind of preferred it the way it was before with the previous race. Then go back to general, select the previous race, you know, whatever menu you have for selecting races, and you'll notice the skin tone is where I had it set before. The character size is where I had it set before. Let's go back and check the female again. Oh, look, the weight is all the way up. The skin tone is all the way up. The size that I picked. So just to demo this, I'll make her tall. I'll go to the male. I'll make him small. I'll go to the female, and she's still tall. And I go to the male, and he's still small. So that's really cool. Really cool concept with the character customizer system. So I can customize multiple characters before ever even leaving the menu system a single time. It's a really cool concept.
Now, one other thing that I did also want to touch note on is this search menu. I did not explain what this does. This will allow you to actually type in the ID of an NPC, which is explained in the videos whenever you start creating NPCs, and it will actually switch to that NPC so you can customize that NPC. Instead of using the drop-down list to select the NPC, you could just type in the name of the NPC here, and it will automatically switch the menu to it. Now, this area up here, it all looks plain. These are the default widgets. There's no customization up here. That's because really this area would be removed. You would just hide the visibility. These are set inside of a canvas panel. And when I release this game to a public, I would hide this because I wouldn't want the public changing the look of the NPCs. The menu will always automatically load the player. All right. And it will always automatically switch the player to the menu that is supposed to be using. So let's say I'm customizing my female character and I've you know, my, I make my changes to the female character and then I click finish. When I open the menu back up, it's going to go back to that female character. And if I go to the male's character menu, you'll notice that these are two separate menus. I have skin tone in the male, but I don't have weight. In the female, I have a weight slider. So these are actually two different menus. So whenever I select the male, if I click finished and I open it back up, notice it loads the correct menu for the race. So the character customizer system isn't a customizable character. It is a system for handling the customizations of NPCs, and it is a very thorough system. It can pretty much be set up to do anything you want. The slider type templates that I mentioned in the previous video demoing this are just demos, really. They're just examples of how you can set up a slider to control a morph, or how you can set up a slider to control two morphs, or how you could set up a slider to control saving a miscellaneous integer or a miscellaneous float into the character customizer system. But as you can clearly see, the character customizer is not limited to sliders. Those are just examples showing you how to use the functions in the character customizer. There are several functions in the character customizer and you can use them to set up buttons like I have here, or you can make your own templates for setting up things that can swap textures through buttons or even do morphs through clicking a button. I mean, it's completely customizable. The whole system can be turned into whatever you want the system to be. So I hope this video has been informative as to what the character customizer is capable of and hoped to expand on the previous video.